Hey guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play Careless Whisper by George Michael. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to play the main chord progression that's played basically throughout the whole song. But I'm also gonna teach you how to play the main riff, which is originally played on a saxophone, but it sounds great on the guitar as well. Now, if you wanna master chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you really want to improve on your guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Now for the basics of this song, you'll just need your guitar in standard tuning and you won't need a capo at all. So let's jump into the main chord progression and then it's just four chords here that we need to learn. So we're gonna start with a D minor bar chord shape like this. So index finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string, ring and pinky on the seventh frets of the fourth and third strings, and then middle finger on the sixth fret of the second string. Now you can just focus on those middle four strings or you can bar your index finger and play all five. It is important here that you don't hit the open sixth string either. So a way to mute that is to actually have your index finger a little bit higher so that it touches the sixth string. And then when you strum all the strings, only the bottom five ring out. So that's our first chord. Then we go to G minor seven. So it's played like this index on the third fret of the sixth string and then all your other fingers on the third frets of the fourth, third and second strings. Now you'll need to mute the fifth string and that will kind of naturally occur anyway because your index finger will lie across it to get to the sixth string like that. So that's G minor seven. Now you can also play that G minor seven like this. Some people like to fret their minor seven chords like this, but I prefer doing it like that. And then we go to a B flat major seven. So just slide your index finger up to the sixth fret Ring and pinky will go on the seventh frets of the fourth and third, and your middle finger here on the sixth fret of the second string. Now the same thing will apply, we'll wanna make sure that fifth string is muted, like that. And then our final chord is an A minor seven, which is the same shape as a G minor seven as well. So that's our four chord chord progression. Now I'm gonna teach you two strumming patterns you can use here. The first one's gonna be the simplest way of playing this. And this is probably more for the beginners who are just starting out on the guitar. So the basic strumming pattern goes like this, down, 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 up. And you play that twice for each chord. So the basic way of playing the chord progression sounds like this. Now I'll teach you the more advanced strumming pattern that sounds a lot better with this studio version and it has more rhythm to it. Now the pattern's gonna go something like this. Down, down, up, mute, 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 up, down, 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 up. Now those three muted strums are essentially a down, up, down. In order to get that mute sound, you'll just need to lift your fretting fingers off the fretboard, but still have them touching the strings so that when you strum it, nothing rings out. And then as soon as we come back to the up strum, you just push your fretting fingers back down. So it goes like this. Down, down, up, mute, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Now you can play that strumming pattern once for each chord and the more advanced strumming pattern sounds like this. All right, so now I'm gonna teach you how to play the lead riff, which is originally played on the saxophone, but it's a lot of fun to play on the guitar as well. So you're gonna start with your ring finger on the 10th fret of the first string. Now you're gonna slide that up to the 12th. And then we go back to the 10th fret. And then with your middle finger, 10th fret of the second string. And then with your index finger, 10th fret of the third string. So those four plucks. And then the last four plucks of this bar, we're gonna go back up to the 12th fret of the first string. I'm gonna play that with my pinky finger. And then back to the 10th fret. And then 10th of the second and 10th of the third. So the first bar in total. For the second bar, we're gonna to go to the 11th fret of the second string with our ring finger, slide it up to the 13th back down to the 11th, 
and then 10th fret without your next finger of the third string, and then end on the 12th fret of the fourth string. So those four plucks. And then we end with three plucks, which is the 13th fret of the second string, 11th, and then 10th fret of the third. So the second bar in total. For the third bar, we have a run of five notes. We're gonna start with the 11th fret of the second string with our middle finger, then slide that down one fret, hit the 10th fret, then 10th fret of the third string with your index, and then 12th fret of the fourth string with your ring finger, and then go all the way down to the eighth fret of the fourth string. And then for the fourth bar, it's just a run up the scale. So we're gonna start on the seventh fret of the fourth string, eighth, then 10th, 12th. Then we go to the next string, ninth, 10th, 12th, and then end on the 10th fret of the second string. So the fourth bar. You play that line of tab through twice and the main riff sounds like this. So those are all the parts for this song, it's quite simple. Now I'm going to be playing through the majority of the song and I'm going to have a vocal track on top for some context. A big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals to this playthrough. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice play along to and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to head over to guitarzerohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to take your guitar to the next level, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step by step guitar course. I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button, hit subscribe, and click the notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on my updates. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions, and requests down below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.